Drop a like and do share. Leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos. Dear students, let's proceed further in the chapter hydrocarbon. Uh, in this video, we are going to do the new topic aromatic hydrocarbon. First of all, the aromatic hydrocarbon are also known as arenes, and since they possess a pleasant odor, that's why they are named as aromatic compounds because in Greek aroma means pleasant smelling okay so uh, the parent member of this family is benzene and its formula is C6H6 and it is represented as the following structure okay here uh, benzene has got six carbon atom and six hydrogen atom and this double bond they are alternate okay so either they can be placed between these two carbon or between these two carbon okay and because of this they have got resonating structure and this is finally the equivalent that is the uh, resonance hybrid those aromatic compounds which has got the benzene ring they are known as benzenoid structure like the toline, naphthalene, biphenyl etc and those which do not contain a benzene ring they are known as non-benzenoid okay like furan, thiophene now let's analyze the resonance like in benzene since we have seen that there is alternate single bond and double bond so it should have CC single bond and CC double bond but experimentally we have found that the carbon carbon bond is uniform okay like uh, CC single bond it has a bond length of 154 picometer and CC double bond has a bond length of 134 picometer okay but in benzene all the carbon carbon bonds they are equivalent and they have a bond distance of 139 picometer that is somewhat in between the double bond and single bond so the simple structure could not explain this phenomena okay so new structure was proposed and then different hypothetical Lewis structure was proposed to explain this phenomena and these hypothetical structures are known as resonance structure or canonical form okay for example like carbon carbon double bond then single bond double bond single bond okay alternate then another form could be like this double bond will shift over here this double bond will shift over this place and this double bond will shift over this place and then we will get another canonical form okay and then the real molecule this is the hypothetical structure okay so real molecule will be somewhat in between these two so each of these carbon carbon bond will have a double bond character and a single bond character so it will be mix of these it will be somewhat in between double bond and single bond that's why the bond length is between the double bond and the single bond and finally we represent it as this okay and this is the resonance hybrid please note that resonance hybrid is just a hypothetical representation okay and while we are doing any reaction we will use these two structures okay either of these apart from calculus structure there are also three they were structures which also satisfy the formula c6h6 but the contribution of calculus structure is much more as compared to the var structure so the final resonance hybrid will be majorly composed of this calculus structure okay and we generally use this structure not the devar structure okay then there is also a term called resonance energy or resonance stabilization energy which is the actual difference between the the real structure that is the benzene structure which uh, we will experimentally calculate its energy okay and the lowest energy of the resonance structure that in this case these two molecule they will have the same energy so the calculus structure will have the uh, lowest energy okay 
whereas the Devar structure they are not uh, that much stable so they will have a high energy so basically the energy difference between this calculus structure and the real benzene molecule will give you the resonance stabilization energy or the resonance energy okay let's analyze the molecular structure with the atomic concept okay so all the carbon atoms they are sp2 hybridized okay and they will form a sigma bond okay east of this they will form a sigma bond with other two carbon atoms one sigma bond here one sigma bond here and the third hybridized orbital will form a sigma bond with the hydrogen atom okay and so since it is sp2 hybridized so the bond angle will be 120 degree okay now it is still having one p orbital which is vacant so all the six carbon atom they will have one p orbital that is still vacant okay and they will have one electron in it so there could be a possibility of sidewise overlap so they will overlap sidewise to form a pi bond okay now there are two possibilities okay uh, either these two they could overlap these two then these two okay this is one possibility other possibility could be that these two overlap 2 3 overlap and 4 5 overlap and 1 6 overlap so either the possibility is 1 2 will overlap 3 4 and 5 6 or 2 3 4 5 and 1 6 so we get two different resonating structure okay and since because uh, they could flip flop so finally the this results in resonance okay so instead of uh, this alternate sigma pi bond will get a ring okay there will be continuous pi bond ring that will above this plane and below the plane of carbon nucleus okay so this results in resonance and next is aromaticity okay so all the aromatic compound they will resemble benzene in their chemical behavior so what is special about the chemical behavior of benzene so as we have seen that there is double bond so there is unsaturation so uh, as the alkenes they show addition reaction okay so benzene should also show addition reaction because there is unsaturation but instead of addition reaction it undergo substitution reaction okay this is the characteristic behavior of all the aromatic compounds that they undergo substitution reaction rather than the addition reaction in spite of having unsaturation the reason is that the electron cloud of the pi bond they are not localized they are delocalized that's why they are not available for a donation to give the addition reaction okay next how do we judge whether the given compound is aromatic or not okay so there are a certain criteria okay and uh, it was given by Huckel so it is also known as Huckel rule so it's simple is all the organic compounds which satisfies these three criteria will be aromatic so first is that delocalization of the pi electron cloud okay and this is possible uh, when they have alternate pi and sigma bond okay and second criteria is planarity okay whenever there will be uh, planarity then only this flip-flop is possible that we have seen in if they will be in same plane then this p orbital could overlap with this and same way this p orbital could overlap with this p orbital okay so uh, this flip-flop is possible the alternate uh, overlap is possible only when all the p orbitals they are in the same plane that's why we have talked about the planarity next is 4n plus 2 pi electrons okay 
so whenever they will have 4 and plus 2 pi electrons then they will satisfy the Huckel rule so all these three 4 and plus 2 pi electrons plus delocalization for that require alternate sigma and pi bond and then the planetary so when these criteria are satisfied then the molecules show aromaticity okay for example let's check benzene benzene has got delocalization yes alternate sigma pi bond then it is planar okay and then how many pi electrons two four six so it is showing the aromaticity okay next naphthalene it has got two, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so total ten pi electrons that's if you put n is equal to 2 you will get 10 so satisfy this rule it is planar and uh, the pi electrons they get delocalized alternate sigma and pi bond so it is also aromatic next is anthracene 2 4 6 8 10 12 and 14 so when we put n is equal to 3 we get 14 so cyclic planar conjugated and 4n plus 2 pi electrons so this is showing aromaticity so in Huckel rule you have to see whether the molecule is cyclic or not whether it is planar or not whether it is conjugated because when it will be cyclic planar and conjugated then only this delocalization is possible okay in a cyclic cloud form and then second is 4n plus 2 pi electrons okay there is another concept of anti aromatic if the pi electrons are 4n pi electrons then it is anti aromatic that is extra unstable just opposite of aromatic so 4n plus 2 pi cyclic planar conjugated 4n plus 2 pi electron is aromatic and if it is only 4n pi electrons then it is anti aromatic okay for example this one this is anti aromatic Okay, thank you.